The Office of uh, National Statistics uh, for, uh, has released UK gross domestic product, which is estimated to have increased by one percentage point uh, in quarter four, October to December 2021, following a downward revised uh, increase in the third quarter. The largest contributor to the quarterly increase were from human health and social work activities and a large increase in COVID-19 testing and tracing activities and the extension of the vaccination program. For more of these headlines, we're going to cross over to London. We're joined by Arise Business Analyst, Body Oshoshimi. Good morning to you, Body. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, markets um, digesting the scorching hot U.S. inflation data. Few are finding dips to buy. What are your thoughts on how uh, you know, traders are reacting? Are they overreacting? How do you see it? Well, good morning, uh, Reuters. Uh, with in U.S. inflation seeing the highest print in, in 40 years, 7.5% year on year, much higher than what was expected, uh, the, the probability now is 80% that the Fed will hike 50 basis points when it meets uh, March the 16th. And uh, that's not all. The odds of an intra-Fed meeting uh, decision uh, is now at about uh, 30%, maybe even before March. Um, Fed Hawk, St. Louis Fed President uh, James Bullard, he foiled more specific, uh, speculations when he said he would like to see one percentage points worth of interest rate increases by July. And um, he also called for an unscheduled um, uh, decision. So clearly the Fed has not signaled that an emergency meeting is in the cards, uh, but the rhetoric continues uh, to be mixed. We had some more dovish rhetoric from San Francisco Fed boss Mary Daly earlier saying that uh, the match rate hike uh, was going to go on, but the Fed was not going to be aggressive in rate increases. While Rafael Bostic, as you know, anticipated hiking interest rates three or four times, stressing that the central bank isn't locked into in any plan. U.S. futures are still tumbling after yesterday's uh, sell-off. NASDAQ uh, futures are taking more of the hit. My sense is that markets are too edgy and, and they don't want to get the point that the Fed is data dependent and a lot of the data isn't yet out. So while analysts enjoy filling the gaps, uh, stoking a lot of volatility, um, I think uh, all this is leading to much more confusion than there needs uh, to be. And buddy, we have the UK GDP data and also the latest in, uh, inflation data from uh, Germany. How, how do you interpret this um, uh, economic metrics coming from both countries? Well, market players were, were interested in, in this uh, estimation of Q4 GDP. Uh, the, the expected 6.4% year on year. And that was in the context of the Bank of England's um, uh, rate hiking, which many a nascent um, uh, recovery. But um, the, the year on year came out at 7.5% in 2021. That was after a 9.4% fall in 2020, better than an upwardly revised uh, November year on year of, of 7 uh, percent. It was revised from 6.8%. Just like you said, um, the most of the contribution came from the health uh, and the optic in COVID-19 testing, tracing, and extension of the vaccination uh, program. And the biggest casualty was from retail and hospitality uh, sectors. We also got the goods trade balance numbers published in another data release. Um, we saw total trade balance with non-EU countries coming in at um, 7.876 uh, billion. That's minus, uh, which is a deficit in the trade balance versus 5.665 uh, billion uh, minus again, which was uh, the previous metric. That may suggest the pivot uh, to, to non-EU trade is gathering some uh, momentum. But the good news, I think, is from Germany, where we saw the first sign of easing inflation in a major Western economy. And I think that's a, a beginning of the sign that indeed uh, the higher inflation may be transitory. And our inflation rate in Germany was confirmed at 4.9% in January of 2021 easing from a multi-year high of 5.3 percent in, in december the first time uh, we have seen a decline in seven months uh, the month on month uh, inflation was 0.4 percent also in line with preliminary estimates range what's also interesting is what makes up the inflation the we saw the downtick in services from 3.1 percent to 2.9 percent food also went down from six percent to five percent but Energy prices went up from 18.3% to 20.5%. Uh, 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 and if you look at energy prices, heating oil, 51.9% increase on year. Motor fuels, 24.8%. Natural gas, 32.2%. Electricity, 11.1%. Clearly, high energy prices are the main concern. 
um, those who believe that these prices will come down, I guess, have a point in saying that uh, inflation is indeed uh, transitory. Thanks, buddy. Uh, just about a minute to go, uh, Lagarde, her dovish tone on rates. Could you be proved wrong or does she have a point? So what she's saying is that the context must, of course, inform the strategy. But um, I guess with uh, the more hawkish stance taking going on in the U.S. and the divergence, many are putting pressure on, on uh, Europe uh, to be alert. But um, first, inflation is driven by high energy costs, just like I said. And if that is transitory, it will come down. And then second, monetary levers will do little to abate the sage or political premium stoking up oil prices, nor will it necessarily alleviate the supply side shortages and other COVID-related bottlenecks. But hikes will indeed curb demand, but in a supply-driven scenario, it may not be as effective in bringing inflation down, but uh, instead could choke uh, a still nascent economic uh, recovery and maybe even fuel a potential crash in the stock market, damaging sentiment and, and confidence, which typically spreads to hurt the, the economic pickup. But um, uh, I think Hawks will say that um, Lagarde is kicking the can further down the road instead of dealing with the issue. We have to wait and see. She said that the U.S. economy is overheated, whereas Europe is far from being overheated. And she will be glad uh, when she hears the news from Germany that inflation is uh, sticking uh, downwards. Arise Business Analyst, Body Oshoshimi, Body, thank you so much for taking us through the headlines. Appreciate your insights as always.